Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to create such a part in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a completely free 3D CAD system that can be used for both hobby and commercial purposes. We can use this system freely even when creating paid projects. Let's move on to FreeCAD and start a new project in the part design workbench. We will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. Select create sketch and select the XY plane as the sketch plane. Here, create a rectangle from the center, choose the centered rectangle command. Next, select the origin of the coordinate system as the center of the rectangle. When you hover over the origin point, this point will be highlighted in yellow. Click here to define the center of the rectangle. Here, by the way, I will check the rounded corners command to add rounded corners. I am working on FreeCAD version 1.0 RC2. In this version, we can define dimensions on the fly. I specify the dimensions of this rectangle as 150 millimeters by 150 millimeters, and for the radius value, I enter 50 millimeters. If you are using a different version of FreeCAD, you can simply add such dimensions manually. When it comes to adding dimensions, you will have access to dimension icons, horizontal dimension, vertical dimension. Add these two dimensions to the rectangle, then using the geometry fillet command, add radii in the corners and specify the dimension of this radius to be 50 millimeters. It looks roughly like this, we draw a regular rectangle. Okay, now we add one dimension, Input the value, then add the second dimension. Input the value and add the fillet in the corners. We do this by indicating two lines or the corner where we want to add the fillet and then we add the radius. And specify the value of that radius. Okay, here in the new version of FreeCAD, we can do this much faster and it is quite convenient. The sketch is complete and fully constrained. Close the sketch and now, based on this sketch, we will add an extrusion. Select this operation and add an extrusion of 40 millimeters. Click OK. And now we will add a fillet on the bottom edge of the solid. To do this, select the bottom face, choose the fillet command, and specify the radius value as 30 millimeters. When it comes to entering values in these fields, we can do this by entering a specific value or by rotating the mouse wheel to specify the desired value in this field. Click OK. We have something like this. Now select this face and choose the thickness command. Add a wall with a thickness of 4 millimeters here. Check the Make Thickness Inwards option so that this wall is created inward without enlarging the solid outward. Click OK. And we have something like this. Now we will add these elements. We will do this by first creating a construction line. Select Create Sketch and create a sketch on the XZ plane. Draw a line so that its starting point lies on the X axis. Here, as you can see, the X axis is highlighted, so we click on this line. At this moment, it doesn't matter whether you click here so that this line overlaps with the solid or do it outside the solid. We can do it outside the solid. At this point, we enter 60 millimeters as the length of the line and also enter minus 60 degrees as the angle. We have this line and now right click to cancel this command. Select this point, select this point, and add a dimension, setting this dimension to 30 millimeters. We close the sketch and have this line. Now I will turn off the visibility of this solid, select it from the operation tree and press the spacebar. 
Now, we select this point and choose the Create Datum Plane command to create a construction plane here. We create this plane in such a way that we do not make this plane perpendicular to this line, but we make this plane parallel to the XY plane. Click OK. Now we select this plane, choose Create Sketch, and draw a circle here, with its center coinciding with this point. For the diameter of the circle, we enter 10 millimeters and click Enter to confirm. We close the sketch and now we create another sketch. This time, select the XY plane as the sketch plane. Here, use the Create External Geometry command to create reference geometry based on this point. Click on this point and now we select the Circle Drawing command. We draw a circle whose center will coincide with this point and for the diameter of the circle, enter 15 millimeters. Here I slightly rotated the view to make it easier to reference this point as external geometry. In this view, we can also create geometry, and this geometry will be drawn on this sketch plane. The fact that we are in a different view will not affect the sketch being created in another view. We are just rotating the view a bit onto the sketch plane, while still creating the sketch on the sketch plane. OK, close the sketch. Turn off the visibility of this plane, so here in the operation tree, select this plane and press spacebar to hide it. Now select the first sketch, then while holding the control key, select the sketch of the second circle and choose the additive loft operation. We create something like this, click OK, and we have created that element. I select this sketch and turn off its visibility. Next, I select this operation, choose the polar pattern operation, and add three elements around the z-axis. Here, as the axis of the pattern, we select the base z-axis, and for the number of elements, we enter three. And we have something like this. Click OK to confirm, and this way we have created such a solid. To change the color of the solid, we click on body, and choose random color and as you can see with just a few simple steps we have created this solid and learned some interesting solid creation operations in FreeCAD if you would like to learn the basics of FreeCAD step by step you can take part in my training the link to which you will find in the description of this video that's all for today Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.